Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Jenna ASMR. Now just bear with me because I've never done a video like this before. And if you're wondering why you can't see my face, it's because I'm going to be showing you guys, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you know that I enjoy ASMR and I also enjoy crafting and making things so i thought i would combine the two today so for anybody who also likes to make crafty little projects i'm just going to show you a couple simple um simple stitches for crocheting here now since it's fall time i pulled out some of my fall colored yarn and what I'm going to show you how to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a simple granny square. Um, I'm just going to be using this dark yellow yarn here. It's a four ply yarn and I'm also going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so let's get started here so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to take your yarn and you're going to want to make a slip knot and the easiest way i have found to do that is to just wrap the yarn around your finger and then you're going to tuck that top piece through just like that and then you're going to pull it now just take your hook and stick it through there just like that and pull it tight not too tight but not too loose you want to make sure that this bottom part of your hook right here can easily slip through the loop now what you're going to do is you're going to chain four so you're just going to chain one two three what you do to chain is you just wrap the yarn around and pull it through so there's four and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect this top part up here to the first chain that you've made so what you're going to do is you're just going to do that and then you're going to grab a hold of this and you're going to do a slip stitch now to do a slip stitch you just take that top piece right there and you pull through both of those both of those loops now what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain up three one two three okay and that chain three also counts as a double crochet now what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the center loop right there don't go through this top piece right there you're going to want to go through down through here and you're going to make two more double crochets so just pull it through there for a double crochet okay let me back up here for a double crochet you're going to yarn over and then you're going to put it through that center right there you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to um, pull through two and then you're going to yarn over and then pull through two more all right we're going to do one more of those right back into that center loop right there so you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to yarn over pull through two okay so now we've got a little cluster of three double crochets right there remember that that chain three counted as one two and then three so now what you're going to do is you're going to make a corner so what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and chain two okay now you're going to yarn over again and you're going to do three more double crochets so pull up the loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and you guys don't have to kind of use your thumbnail to get those up through there 
it's just that I'm not doing this in the position I normally would so it's kind of difficult for me um, okay so we're gonna do two more of those pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two Oop, get through there little guy there we go yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so now we've got our second set of three a little cluster here three double crochets now you can see how it's starting to form a square so what you're going to want to do now is chain two more to make another corner okay so now you're going to do three more double crochets now you can crochet right over top of this tail here or you can weave it in later i prefer to crochet right over top of the tail so we're going to do three more three more double crochets there's one i usually work a lot faster than this but since i'm slowing it down a lot because i'm trying to teach pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull up a loop Just tuck that guy back down in there yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay we've got three more little clusters there and you can really see it's taking taking the shape of a square so we're going to make another corner by chaining two one and two and then we're going to yarn over and we are going to make three more double crochets here one more little cluster so pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two there's one yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two oops there um now you can see you have a little square here you've got one two three four sets of little clusters of double crochets of three double crochets now you need to form your last corner here so what you're going to do is you're going to chain two more one and two and then you're going to come over here and if you can see let me see if i can get this there's a double crochet there's a double crochet now this right here is your chain three and what you're going to do is you're going to count up one two three right here and you're going to slip stitch right into that top chain of your first chain three now remember to slip to slip stitch you're going to take your hook and you're going to slip it through there like that and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull right through both of those okay so now you can see i've created the center the center little square of my granny square right here now um what you're gonna do what i do is because now if you were gonna change collars to make each little um section of your square a different collar i'll show you that in another video but we're not gonna do that today now i always like to start in a corner so we're not technically in a corner because it's behind the hook so what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip stitch over to the next corner so you're just gonna go right through the top of that double crochet and slip stitch and then you're gonna go through the top of that double crochet and slip stitch and then you're you're over here now so you're just going to go right into the corner you're going to go right into that big hole right there and you're going to slip stitch so now you're at the corner so now you what you're going to do is you're going to chain three more one two three 
I'm sorry, you guys can probably hear somebody mowing the lawn in the background. So you've got your chain three, and remember that counts as your first double crochet of the cluster when you're um, starting a new row. So you're going to double crochet right into that corner two more times. There's one, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. So there's one, there's, well, no, actually I've got all three, I'm sorry. Okay, so now you are gonna to want to create another corner for this row that you're working on right here. So we're gonna chain two, one, <laughs> I'm sorry for the lawnmower. Here, I need to, I need to pull some more yarn here. We have some more yarn to work with. <laughs> this is what I hate about making videos during the day. There's so much noise. Okay, so you've chained two. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do three more double crochets, right? One more cluster right into that same corner. So here's one, and remember, when you're doing a double crochet, I'm going to show you one more time how to do it. There's two, now you're going to yarn, yarn over, go through the corner, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now, um, from this point on, what I like to do, um, since we're leaving the corner here, okay, you didn't really have to do it on the first row because it was just all four corners. There was really no spaces in between the clusters. So whenever you leave a cluster from here on out, with an exception from the corners, I want you to chain one. Okay, there's my chain one. And then we're gonna go right into this corner. We're gonna do a little cluster here, which is three double crochets. There's one, there's two, 